I think it's more of a gray area in terms of like, well, did you, you know, you know, when you leave someone and you love someone, does that mean you never love them or you can't continue to love them in some sort of a fashion or does it have, have to be a, you know, uh, or is it so black and white? You know, I like, I kind of like a gray area. Um, uh, so, you know, I think, I think, I think they'll, they'll find a way, but yeah, maybe Casey just has to stamp it out right, and move on. It's a lot of fun. Maybe. I've kind of, I've, I've sort of said before, like, I really enjoy working with Jesse and I feel like I've learned a lot getting to do that, like doing this storyline with him. Um, and so I've, I've kind of answered before, like if them getting together and being romantic means that I get to act more with Jesse, great. If them <laughs> just staying friends means I get to act more with Jesse, great. Uh, whichever one of those works to that advantage, great. Um, but uh, yeah, I do, I, you know, I think, I think what's interesting about their dynamic is, you know, I was kind of concerned in the beginning that it wouldn't really track well because they're such similar people. Like they're very dutiful and they're very um, self-sacrificing and, uh, and they're both kind of in a position of authority and they're very professional. Um, and so I thought, I thought, well, maybe that, you know, is that boring or, you know, because I, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like Casey needs somebody to like push him around a little bit, you know, just like kind of need somebody to like be a spitfire. And, uh, and so I, but I think that the way that the writers have written it is, um, is really sweet and really like, you know, they, they kind of, even though they, it's not perfect, obviously, but they kind of have good communication. And I think there's a genuine like care um, for one another so much so that they wind up sort of getting in their own way. Like they don't really get what they really want because they're, they're trying to be so considerate of the other person. Um, and all of that's just like really fun to, that's all really fun to play. And I don't know where it's going to go. I mean, yeah, I, I'd like, yeah, I'd like, you do, you know where it's going. I, I'd like for them to get it together, but, but I want, I want the works. You see, I want, I want all, the, I want all the big gestures. Okay, just take notes. All right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll talk to Derek about it. Um, yeah, I'd, and one thing I was just reminded of before was like how, like they, they started spending time last season together. The, um, the organic way, you know, when her, um, her birth mom uh, died and the, the cat that she lost in there. And the writers were just putting them together in situations where he, he was um, a guy looking out for his friend who was hurting. And it, and it just felt, I don't know, it just felt really organic and felt really good, you know, so to make the crossover, um, you know, into a more rom into romantic territory uh, felt great. It was a smooth transition. And then, of course, it can't be a completely smooth transition because that would be boring. So we have to, you know, uh, throw a, a few roadblocks in there, but um, yeah, but that's great too. And uh, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna watch these characters dance around each other for um, a bit longer, and hopefully, hopefully, get it together. I, I think there has to be some sort of thing click into place where she doesn't feel like she's taking second place or like she's a consolation prize. Um, and I, I've said this before, but it's you know, to me, I feel like Brett's always kind of molded herself around the men that she's been with, where she, she just wants things to work so well that she kind of puts her needs aside. And actually in this relationship, I think because Casey has sort of uh, invested in her in a way that, that has given her a sense of self-confidence and being able to prioritize herself and her needs, that that's what she's that's exactly what she's trying to do in their relationship. Um, and so I think, yeah, I don't know in what form that would, would come to her, but maybe it's like a, a conversation um, about, you know, like, no, you're not, you're not second in my mind or, uh, you know, it, it's just, um, 
yeah, maybe some grand gesture of sorts, just like a ton of flowers or a really ring. good station. <laughs> no, not a ring. No more, no more, no more. No, I can't. <laughs> um, but, I was going to say, it's going to have to be, it is, good, it is just going to have to be black and white at some point, right? Because otherwise that question is always just going to be hanging around. But I do, it's you just know, gonna what be like, this is what I want yeah. I've thought about it. And this is it. And that's, and that's it. Black and white. And she would have to believe him. Right. You no. Know? And, and, uh, but I do, I think sort of the other thing that kind of gets in the way of that is that really like her goal is less about herself and more like, oh, if you still love your ex-wife, then you should go and sort that out. Like you should have the love in your life that you want because she really just wants him to be happy. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see what he does. 